was, uh, it hasn't been beaten at all. And then once it's beaten, by beating it, it goes into a machine called the Hollander Beater, which has got, it's like a mill. When, when we go and collect it in the, in the felt from the rhinos, it's still a little bit uh, uh, smelly and dirty, and it's got uh, stones and sand and bits of pieces in it. So what one has to do first is simply wash it in water to get rid of all the impurities. Uh, we cook it a little bit as well uh, just to, to help with the cleaning process. And, uh, and, then it ha and then it has to be rinsed and slightly beaten. So that creates the two colors in the pulp. And then the next step now is to actually lift the whole thing out of the water. And this is when the, the magic happens. And the, sh the, wa the water drains out, the fibers settle. It's deco, this lid. And you can see that the, the fibers have now settled on the surface of the screen. And that's... I didn't want commercial paper. I wanted paper with more interest, more texture. And um, the rhino dung paper is so beautiful, and I wanted the textures.